What is going on guys? Welcome back to your fourth C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over something called variables because variables are such a huge part of C++. I can't stress this enough. So let's go ahead and tap into our memory banks and try to remember back in like seventh grade when you first started learning about variables. And if you can't remember, let me give you a brief history lesson. Variables are basically just placeholders. That's all they are. So let's go ahead and say we had a variable named x and we set it equal to bacon. Well then, whenever we would have a sentence like Bucky loves x, we knew that x equals bacon so this meant Bucky loves bacon. Simple enough. So let me give you guys another quick example. Say x was equal to 7. So then when we had a statement like 5 plus x, we knew that this meant 5 plus 7. Simple enough. So as you can see, a variable is basically just a placeholder. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys how to make variables in C++. In C++, in order to make variables, you go ahead and first write the type of variable you're going to be working with. Now, I'm going to be going over data types later, but for now, I want to give you guys one data type, and that's INT. This stands for integer, and an integer is pretty much like a whole number, like 6, 83, 540. It's a number without a decimal place. So now that you gave C++ the type of data you're going to be working with, you need to go ahead and name your variable. Go ahead and name it anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and name mine Tuna. So now it has a type and a name. So now all we have to do is use the equal sign and set it equal to a value. So since this has to be equal to a whole number, let's set it equal to 6. Um, it doesn't matter what whole number you set it equal to, but I just like 6. It's easy to type. So now we have the variable tuna, and C++ knows that it's an integer, and it's equal to the value of 6. So now what can we do with variables? Well, just like we can print out text on the screen, we can also print out variables just as easy. So if you went ahead and said C out, and just go ahead and print it out tuna, we can go ahead and build and run this, and it would print out not the word tuna, but it would print out 6, just like that. So that's pretty cool, and that's the basics of variables and how we can use variables in C++. And actually, in this tutorial, what I was planning on doing is building a simple calculator. Um, let me go ahead, and I guess I have time for this. Let's go ahead and make two variables, and I'll show you guys another cool thing that you can do with C++. Let's go ahead and make int we'll call make a variable called a and we'll set it equal to 4 let's go ahead and make another variable called b which is of course an integer because that's the only type we know right now and we'll set this equal to you know 21 or something doesn't matter as long as they're both numbers now let's go ahead and make another variable called sum and this sum is going to be equal to a plus b so now you can see aside from well let's go ahead and yeah that's good enough so now you can see that aside from just assigning variables numbers just like that, you can also use basic arithmetic to set variables equal to another value as well. So now the value of 25a plus b is going to be equal to sum. So now if you go ahead and print out c out sum and then we go ahead and we build and run this, check it out, it prints out 25 on the screen pretty cool huh so again in this tutorial I want to show you guys that in order to make variables go ahead and write the data type what do you want the name of the variable or excuse me what you want the name of the variable to be and what you want the value of the variable to be and then aside from just assigning variables basic values you can also use basic arithmetic like a plus b um, b minus a you could have done that um, let's see if you had b minus a Let's go ahead and see what the value of that is. 17. So again, you can go ahead and set variables equal to basic arithmetic using other variables. And you can even do this. Sum equals 48 minus um, 7. Again, this isn't really the sum anymore. It's more of a uh, product. What is it? Not the product. Not the uh, quotient. The difference. There we go. That's what I... And there we go, I got it. So again, 
you understand the basics of variables that's what I'm trying to stress so in the next tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very basic calculator and this is the first program we're going to be building that actually interacts with the user and it's going to be awesome and you needed to understand variables before I could show that to you guys so that's why I had to go over this tutorial but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my website thenewboston.com it's awesome so anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video